Hello. Hi, Sierra. Cat Quest 2. Just a little more cleanup to do, and then we'll be done with Cat Quest 2. Possibly this is the last video. Yeah, we did the Gentle Bros quests last time, and we were pointed at this cave here, I believe. Oh, yeah, I can't go in a cave while a monster's aware of you. Everyone knows that. Hidden cave. I can't... Yeah, I can't access those yet. A great treasure lies yonder, but where's the key, you ponder? Search the islands to the southeast, a place where the founders rest. So this opens now. Powerful mimics. That must all be defeated before I can claim that. Ow! <laughs> I'm down. Their attack is rather sudden. Oh, the chill! Oh, it doesn't last very long. Guess I'm just killing these with the dog. I apparently was willing to try one spell and be like, yep, that's the one I'm getting them with. Although it does seem rather effective. Alright. At least claim the key as the cat. All golden chests have unlocked. So that's how you do that. Very end game unlock. The architect. Spell mana cost minus two. Just has boatloads of magic attack. Okay, actually only 14 more magic attack than a level 42 arcane staff. Although it itself is level 30. So, yeah, com that's a serious discount on Freeze Paw. Can cast almost twice as many of them. Well, let's see. One divided by 0.6. So, I don't know. <laughs> Force Wolf Rhea. Oh, Astro Paw is naturally 3 MP? Or has it already subtracted the two? Also, we're getting, like, constant audio popping. That's weird. Okay, that's your right bumper spell. Let's see, I guess, can I see your actual MP? No. <laughs> hmm. Fair things appear to be happening here. Alright, so there were a couple mid-boss class encounters that I wanted to take out. Or, I mean, they're just boss class, honestly. They're more like bosses than the actual bosses in the game, except for the final one. But also, where is the Cat Kren? I've kind of forgotten. But we need to head up for the cactus boss anyway. Over there. Oh, Catthulu. I always think it's a Kraken, but it's a Thulu. Oh, right. This staff strikes differently than the old one. 
What a weird pattern. No, oh, we're down? getting bopped by like every projectile, aren't I? All right, the dog seems interested in this particular foe. Ow, got stuck on that rock. <sighs> the purple bullets every time. Patient. This game is Dark Souls. <laughs> you will get demolished if you just go in. I mean, it's far easier than Dark Souls, but it's still true that you can, like, just suddenly lose all your hit points. It's really funny how that works. Ow. <laughs> yeah, like that. You gotta be patient. Gotta watch for when they attack. Go in when you have an opportunity. It's just far easier to get unlimited healing in this game. Except, not really, because you have to land attacks. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you have to land attacks in order to... Um... Get your MP back. Alright. Maybe I should, like, try to loot some more golden chests. But we'll go try to fight the cactus first. Cthulhu might just be the ultimate challenge or something. Yeah, here's a gold chest. Some level ups for our wraith armor. Also, it occurs to me those purple projectiles might deal arcane damage. Do I actually have anything that resists that? Because that would really help. Nope. <laughs> Alright, well... Let's see how the Wraith Armor compares to the Storm Armor now that it got some free level ups. Not quite as good. Okay. Oh. There's another one. Some free Wraith Helm level ups, and we're wearing that currently. Yep, cacti. Where are we actually going? Okay, it's directly up. The cactus cave. What's this actually say? Here lies the mother of cacti, turn back. Let's see, and we found that the cactus just keep returning. Oh yeah, fire resistance would be useful here. I don't know what element the hearts are, but... 
a small cacti. There's something I can't interact with directly under the boss. I can beat these up if I think I'll actually profit health out of it. I think there's a golden chest that I can just sometimes get sneak peeks of. I think I need to make the dog do that, though. He seems to be unwilling to spam like that. And it does do a lot of damage. Alright, we'll get you with the space lasers! Just as soon as, yeah, one of those attacks goes off. I'm sure he'll build back his MP. Yeah, he really seems to like that lightning spell. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Just leaving the dog with zero health and mana. <laughs> The health doesn't matter while he's a CPU, but... Okay. Got him. The solution was space lasers! That cost one MP. I guess there's still the possibility of me dying to the individual tiny cactus enemies. But come on, the main threat was the boss acting as a gigantic hazard. Oh. You can't actually walk on the mud, of course. It's just like the mud that's outside the arena. Zero willpower. Headgear that gives magic plus 75%. Also, even without the presence of the boss, the cacti enemies regenerate, apparently. King's blood, awake thy inner power. You learn Celestial. Max mana also increased. Achievement unlocked. Arcane pause. Unleashes a giant beam from space for 20 MP. I mean, I gotta see this. It's listed power at level 1. Seems pretty good. Of course, for 20 MP, it better be. Um. Seems pretty effective on something that stands still. Also, um. You should equip this. Oh, it has a massive health penalty. No, that's just your current HP. Never mind. <laughs> it has slightly less health than the Bard Hat, which gives health. I thought, you know, the tiny sliver of current HP was all he would have. 
Oh, we can can see our current mana here. It's 26. I can't leave. So, I mean, I could hunt down, like, every legendary treasure, but I just want to win the Cthulhu fight. Also, apparently, whatever my older brother's doing in the Outriders demo is of utmost importance. <laughs> or he doesn't realize I record this game. No, there's a... No, you can't go through there. You can go through up there, though. Oh, treasure. Dragon Void. Arcane damage plus 50%. That's not better than the massive cost reduction, though, if I'm spamming those space lasers. headed vaguely the right way? It's right in the middle there. I would like to save at this town, though, and then just head left every time. I don't know if this is actually any closer than the save point I already was using. Continuing to ignore my Steam messages. <laughs> Also, we'll we'll lead with a alpha strike. Ow. As I get owned by every projectile still. I was gonna say, probably filled up the dog's hit points. It did not. However, they seem to be willing to leave me at least a little alone over there. Did their health reset? No? I should just die here. And then get the revival. A little risky, but... Yeah, they do seem to leave me alone at least a little there. Hmm, they get pushed by that. I should probably just hit the middle, then. Oh. Well, that's awkward. Ow. Because, yeah, if the tentacles get pushed around, I can't just spam it and deal a bunch of damage. Oh! Using the way the game works. It's way cheaper than actually casting the healing spell. That's for sure. Oh, they got me! But I did get the middle on that last attempt. I think we've kind of got a strategy. Oh, hey! They're still dead! Got them. I guess since they're like a world boss... Or I don't know. Maybe it's just because I was still on the overworld or something. I don't know if Cthulhu ever respawns. So that's just kind of funny that that's how the fight ended. I am very curious about the treasure chest. 
But, uh, can't open it right now. Fight's certainly way easier without the main body sniping me, though, with its triple shot. Oh. Allegedly. Got him. Oh. Massive XP pickups. Zero courage. Health plus 75%. I don't see that as being better for the dog than the gentle bros uniform. Alright, actually ran across a king's marker. And yeah, it's time to just see what that level 1 quest is all about. The one that's been pointed at any time we're not on a quest. My kings, are you ready? There's no going back after this. Epilogue. When we plucked you from your timeline, there was a caveat. We had to return you to that exact moment to prevent a paradox. We're okay with that? You won't remember any of this, too. Side effects of time travel, I'm afraid. Anytime you're ready, my kings. Oh. He moved out of the way. Your Majesty, don't go yet. We haven't said our goodbyes. We'll miss y'all, Sniff. The hot dog we made together was truly a tasty one, Sniff Sniff. Ah, uh, scratch it all. I'll regret it if I don't do this. Achievement unlocked. Pause together. So it was a success? The King's Blade was reforged. Yes, only one artifact remains now. And then the apocalypse shall be upon us. Cat Quest 2. Or 3? That does look like a 3. <laughs> and that's where it ends. I bet I can even load my save again. Oh, there's Mew Game Plus! And Mew game. Let's see, there are save slots. I assume this is... Yeah. These sorts of modifiers existed in the first game. Oh, that's actually pretty neat. You cannot upgrade anything. Everything moves at twice the speed of you. If one character dies, it's game over. <laughs> Armor and weapons can't be equipped. Can only game over nine times. Cannot level up. Different and more powerful enemies appear. Yeah, pure magic. Or, per eh magic. You can only cast spells, mana regens automatically. That seems super cool. But, uh, yeah, I, th I think... Oh yeah, I could Mew Game Plus into that, probably. Although, it's... Maybe you need to win a Mew Game to go to Mew Game Plus. But yeah, there will be unique equipment, probably, for, um, winning that. But, uh, yeah, that is enough for this series of Cat Quest 2. Um, just checking that I can actually reload, and yeah, I can just go back and finish all the caves, but I'm gonna do that off-camera, because it would mostly just be for the achievement. Uh, but, uh, I kind of expected credits, honestly. Uh... Let's see, do I have anything to say about the game? I feel like it kind of says everything about itself. The gameplay, a little basic, but it's like passable for what it is. Kind of fun when you're at least the one playing it. Don't know how entertaining it is to watch combat in this game. The writing is just kind of funny. Little all over the place in tone, but it kind of works. <laughs> um, and next up I will be playing Bug Fables. See ya!